Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and we're here on the site today. Before we get to the footings, let me give you a little taste of where we are and why we love this location in downtown Lilburn. Just around the corner is Music on Main, 1910 Public House, and 97 Main, where I get my hair cut. Antiques in Old Town occupies the corner. Beyond is Lilburn Park and the Greenway, which stretches for several miles along Camp Creek. Portcraft Tennis and Holly Goodman State Farm Office sit on the other side of Maine. Back to the footings. The footings have been framed out today. So what's, what do we see here, Ed? We have started setting up for the foundation. So we've got our footings cut out, the candy canes in, or rebar is what they, they put in there. They've also set up our um, ground rod. This is gets inspected tomorrow, and then on Thursday we expect a pour. And then from here we step up to setting up the walls. So from the green point of reference, we're really doing a traditional foundation, not much different than than a regular house. There are a few considerations that yes. were that would make this a, a greener application. Right. We will be putting plastic completely under the footings. We will also dig out the outside of the footings a little about six inches so that we can put a second pipe so that if we do have any additional moisture there's two ways you have like a secondary catch-all so that if there is an issue with water like for instance from that area getting in we have two ways to get it out what about um, slab edge insulation are we doing that as well there will be um, on the walls um, they're doing a foam not a foam board but that fiber board to help insulate and any water that gets to the wall will get taken to the bottom and out the the wall way. drain we also spray um, the walls so that helps to not only insulate but keep the water out of the concrete okay so is that a spray foam or is that a it's a okay. no it's like a tar a tar okay yeah. now I know uh, Luis and I did a video at the Serenby house mm -hmm. on slab edge insulation and we're not doing that here on the slab edge you, right here I believe we don't have that that's something we might be adding Okay. when he hears, you know, when we talk to him about Luis, it. Luis, I want slab <laughs> edge insulation because uh, I know how much that slab can bleed energy out the side. So, well, if you're interested in seeing what slab edge insulation looks like, you can click on the link above to a video that Luis and I did at a home he built in the Serenby community in Atlanta. So while we're working underneath the ground here, working in the ground, we want to do everything we can to make these walls um, insulated well, sealed from water, and, um, and then sealing off the bottom. All right, well, thanks for following this channel. We'll be doing a lot more videos like this, including some of the amazing products we'll be using on this project. And uh, stay tuned, greening your foundation. That's one thing that makes a green home green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share, and subscribe for new videos weekly. The Green Shorts Greenhouse, uncovering what makes a greenhouse green.